From Divine Sister of the Light Natalia Alba, Beloved Ones, we are now moving into the last phase of this wisdom year, a month that will help us recalibrate ourselves completely before continuing with our chosen path. From a planetary point of view, we begin November by having Saturn on the fourth of the month direct again in Pisces. As you know, Saturn is a rigid planet. It likes structure and order and brings things in the tangible. Pisces, on the other hand, as a mutable sign, likes the ethereal, where it feels safer. Saturn will ground Pisces, it will help us ground our purpose, our desires, and everything we envision in our soul. For it is the duty of Saturn to create and expand in the physical, and to take responsibility for its creations. On the next day, Jupiter semi-square Neptune. This is a very grounding essence, for we are heading into a phase of our ascension journey in which everything invites us to focus on the tangible, where we can truly shift the conditions that we no longer desire to experience. Jupiter is in Aries, while Neptune is in Pisces. Jupiter asks Neptune and Pisces to be realistic and to pay attention to the material world, where intuition is also key to navigating through our new reality. It asks us to merge both aspects of ourselves and ground our essence and visions into the physical, for it is how we master ourselves and how we can be of assistance. Groundedness, as the Eclipse in Taurus strongly reminded us to do, will be essential during this month and in the following ones, for we cannot create sustainability and expansion if we are not first in perfect communion with Earth. On November 8th, we have Venus entering Libra until December 4th. Love is the only power that can transform ourselves, our relationships, and everything else. The cosmic message is for us to create change, transformation, and more balance in ourselves first, and into our relationships, for they act as mirrors, showing us the aspects of us that we still need to recognize and heal, for it is through our relationships that we grow and evolve. Venus in Libra is also about compromising ourselves to our soul's dictamens, to bring more love and balance into our relationships and to what we desire to manifest in the physical world. This is about remembering the importance of getting things done, for we tend to dwell in the ethereal, and often we may forget that where we truly live now is in this physical world. Compromising ourselves is key to bringing into form the changes we desire to see. However, issues of self-sacrificing can also emerge at this time, showing us where we still think that giving until emptying ourselves is necessary to assist, to perform in our lives, for it is an old program that must be removed, as it is not about giving without self-care, but about self-caring to be able to give. We are going to be reminded by this planetary encounter to bring equality to all aspects of ourselves and life, seeing the areas we need to stabilize and pay more attention to, so we can create a more harmonic and stable life experience. On November 10th, Mercury enters Sagittarius. We have another blessed encounter in our heavens that will help us clear our mental body of confusion and begin moving fast into the decision of creating conscious experiences based on authenticity, love, and more respectful and compassionate ways of living. Mercury in Sagittarius is about envisioning mentally what we will begin to manifest in a more tangible way in this new phase that is coming. Mercury is about communication, expression, and working with our mental plane. It is a wonderful planet for us to align with and work with all we need to dissolve on a mental level. If we have done this inner work, learn how to communicate from a space of clarity and love with ourselves in the illumined realms. On November 11th, we have the 1111 portal. This portal is going to be a unifier one, bringing all the energies, opposite ones from Scorpio and Taurus, that we have been integrating into one, so we can begin the process of polarity and DNA synthesis as they both complement each other. Unification codes will help in the restoration of the many planetary structures, 
as the false fragmented geometry of the so-called vesica pisces between many other reversals is not shifting into the trinity or unity one healing eons of disconnect a few days later on november thirteenth we have a new moon at twenty degrees scorpio together with pallas entering as well in scorpio on november nineteenth a moon that conjuncts mars and opposes uranus and that gives us this fiery energy for us to be confident and go after what we desire to manifest it is a time to bring from the depths of our being all that we wish to fulfill into our lives and be committed to doing that no matter the challenges for the path is worth it when we know the importance of the lessons in it this passage is key to bringing more transformation into ourselves and our relationships for it is a very powerful energy that triggers new beginnings fresh starts only come when we initiate a transformative journey inward represented by scorpionic energies healing unifying and reconnecting so we can be able to initiate these new starts on november twenty second the sun enters sagittarius we pass from going deeper into all matters and bringing to the surface what was hidden with scorpio to manifest new opportunities in our lives a sign that seeks beyond the surface but also enjoys its quest in making things tangible sagittarius likes to explore new horizons and as its ruler is jupiter it also helps us to expand ourselves even more in our own soul and mission sagittarians are the truth seekers of the zodiac they wander for more wisdom and answers to their inner questions they do not hesitate if the road gets hard as they know that finding the truth will be worth it sagittarians are persevering in what they truly desire and they enjoy the journey more than getting to their final destination as they are grateful for all the lessons learned in their path and know that it is in the journey in itself where the true wisdom resides sagittarian energies will finally give us the necessary rest that we need after this intense and revealing phase introducing us to the last month of december a decisive month before entering into a new phase of our human journey now we leave the depths of scorpion waters to move into sagittarius and mars will do so on november twenty fourth together with ceres which will accompany it on sagittarius on the next day mars in sagittarius is a very optimistic and positive frequency which knows no boundaries to get to our chosen destination on november twenty fifth saturn semi-square chiron this is an important transit that reminds us to work on worthiness for saturn and chiron together are all about healing the wounds related not to being worth it not valuing ourselves and what we do feeling that we are inadequate that we do not perform appropriately for it will show us our fears weaknesses and where we need to love ourselves more and create more compassion for ourselves this is a time for us to embrace our vulnerabilities and work on self-confidence and determination to erase all victimhood programs and anything else that is impeding us from recognizing ourselves as divine beings who can achieve anything we desire and that is for the highest good of all on november twenty seventh we end the month by having a full moon at four degrees gemini this moon will oppose the sun in sagittarius gemini represents the lower mind so to speak while sagittarius represents the higher mind this is about balancing reason with being more open-minded we are invited to go beyond our rigid minds expanding into new horizons and moving in a new direction the moon will align mars and square saturn which is a wonderful union to work on personal mastery synthesis and overcoming challenges by being more flexible november is the start of the two-month threshold to our new destination one that we forge day by day with our thoughts feelings and actions determining where we are heading next at every moment we have the opportunity to shift trajectory choosing a more loving peaceful and harmonic timeline i wish you all a wonderful november beloved ones may you choose to always remain within divine love and compassion for all within infinite love from natalia alba dot com